What's up, world? It's John Jay, a determined black man. And today I just want to speak in reference to the situation that's going on in Minnesota right now. Today is May the 30th, 2020. And so the riding has been going on for about four days now. Maybe it's even five. Um, our procedure of time is not correct. Maybe or maybe not. But as far as my, uh, my points that I want to make, I got about three points that I want to make. They are on time. <laughs> like, uh, and they are my opinion. So, you know, I, I don't feel like my my opinion is the only opinion that matters, you know. But, of course, I'm going to stand on mine a little more reassured and, and, and more affirmative, you know, because that's what I believe. You know, I believe that, <clears throat> first of all, by no means do I uh, condemn what has happened. I, I, I feel... I feel betrayed, I feel hurt, I feel I feel the pain. I mean, I first of all, let me say that I have been a victim myself of, of, of police brutality. I done been snatched out of my vehicle on numerous occasions. I done had to been stripped out of my clothes. I done had, you know, it's almost like it's normal and it's already to be expected. Um, what y'all feeling right now is something I've been feeling, especially since I've been back because of the jacket that's on my back. Like the pressure that has me, it keeps me at bay in a lot of situations because I feel like, you know, I just know. I know how, I know the status, you know what I'm saying? I know how they, and I know how they, they read between those lines and how they treat them. So, uh, a part of this thing is we gotta, we gotta kind of like micromanage ourselves too and not put ourselves in a lot of situations not that that not that that uh excuses anything that, that that happened with this situation here because we all saw it was blatant he squares the life out of this black man uh that was a symbol of uh, of, of some type of uh supremacy to him like i feel like th th this man is a white supremacist um or um he has some hang-ups about who he really is and this right here gave him uh, gratification like he got some type of uh, he got off on it I mean like it gave him a uh, uh, a status like he felt like it gave him uh, empowerment to be able to to not only subdue a large black man but to to squeeze the life out of him without even putting his hands on him you know once he had him down cuffed he ain't even had to touch him no more all he did was use his knee Now you tell me that that ain't some type of sick, weird uh, way to fuel and flame up other sick individuals, then you must be crazy. Y'all got to look at this thing bigger than what you see. Way bigger than what you see. Yeah, I mean, he may have not been a part of any type of terrorist groups or uh, the KKK or any of that, but he was led by the spirit of that type of spirit led him to feel okay even as an officer somebody that has taken the oath and taken the, the vow to to serve and to protect uh, would have such uh, little regards little to no regards no regards for life and, 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 and him being the person that you would expect to be able to go after the 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 the, uh, the vigilance that would do such a crime and you would expect him to be the one to subdue them here we have it a classic case we have become a classic uh, situation in America the officer actually is the is the is, is, is the vigilant he's actually the vigilant the vigilant he, he is the one committing the crime like I mean, for whatever reason, he subdued this man. They saying it was a fake check, or they saying it was a insufficient check, or some fake uh, money, or whatever. None of that, none of that amounts to taking this man life. Not even slamming him on the ground for a fake check or or or, or, or insufficient check. Really, I've seen plenty of cases where they. They, they, they even try to calm these other these other characters down that they went in there and shot all these people up at these schools. You know, calm them down, give them some water, fan them while he on the ground. Uh, you know, don't even lay him on the ground, sit him on the ground. But here you got a man just because he was writing a bad check 
or whatever, uh, allegedly. I don't even know if it's truth to that. But I heard it wasn't. I heard he wasn't even, he wasn't, that wasn't even him. So y'all done did all this based off of suspicion. What y'all gonna do to my son? What y'all gonna do to my sons? And you don't think I fear for my kids? Yeah. Hell yeah. Just because I say that rioting and looting and, and going in these buildings and stuff, uh, burning them, setting them on fire, just because I don't agree with that don't mean that I don't agree with you know, I don't agree with the fact that this man did a, a horrendous uh, act of violence uh, uh, against uh, an innocent brother, an innocent black brother. That man, nothing he did warranted that. He had no no grounds to stand on to do that. I, I mean, he he was not bleeding. He had not given him he not, had not given him a tussle because he wasn't even sweating. The officer him wasn't sweating or none of that. He, he just had on his mind. This was an opportunity for him to act out what was already on his on his mind and in his heart. You gotta remember, a lot of officers, a lot of officers become officers because they've been picked on in school. They use the officers as a way to uh, camouflage or to hide behind to be able to get back. Now, if you if you know, if you you know what's up. A lot of time that happens too. Now, a lot of these guys be them guys that was intimidated in school and. Got picked on and stuff like that. And so they use becoming an officer as a way. Okay, I'm going to show you. You know, so they go lift weights and go to basic training and all that stuff. Then now they feel, you get in my way, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put you in your place. You know what I'm saying? So you got to look at it like that too. That might not have been the very person that done it to him, but he he made it, he, he made him feel like he was that guy. He'd been waiting on the opportunity to, to show one of these guys what I'm made of now. Yeah. A lot of different scenarios could have played out in this event, but I do, I do, do not like the symbol that it, it symbolizes when you see this white man with this, with his neck and his knee in the back of this black man neck. Y'all just don't realize like how empowering that is to these sick people. Some of these sick-minded people take that as a, as a symbol of, 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 uh, of capture, a symbol of. Uh, uh, supremacy, uh, a symbol of uh, hope. Yeah, some of them, they this this gives them hope because they see that they can they can still out mighty a black man, or, you know, the one that they feel so inferior. Of. Like they threaten not only by our physicality, they threaten by our mentality. They know that if we change our mentality and we became more business oriented, more family oriented more structured as a as a as a people they know we the greatest threat to the world because we have so much energy you ever notice that we have so much energy it just be we be focusing all our energy and all around and all around stuff man if we take our energy push our kids to go to school and become something uh or or not even if they go to school but just make them become something like don't be content with just uh, doing lashes or something, you know, that's okay as a side hustle or passive income, but I'm saying like creating, I mean, if you're going to be a lesson, create your, in incorporate, you know what I'm saying? Or you got to think outside of the box. Like we need to push our kids to be more focused. We need to create focus groups. You know what I'm saying? That's a, that's a start to create focus groups so that we, as a people or know what, what direction we need to be headed in. Man, so many of us out here lost. We just going to and fro just like the devil. Trying to figure out who we are, trying to figure out what we supposed to do, you know, trying to, you know, don't know who we even are. So therefore, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna have a you're gonna have a influx of of lost sheep that don't know which way to go. Like, that's what I feel the most hurt towards with this situation. And when I look at our people, I look at it, I say, well, you know what I'm saying, we acting in stupidity. When it comes down to it, when you look at how we burn up these buildings, stuff like that, because that's not giving any type of honor to uh, Mr. Floyd or any of the other victims, uh, male or female, that have uh, passed due to being um, at the hands of one of these crooked officers. That's not giving them the, the honor and uh, justification they need. No. The justice they need, excuse me. That's not giving them due justice. That's not giving them uh, due honor. That's, that's wrong. 
Y'all desecrating them people. Y'all y'all putting dirt on their names now when you do that. Go steal a TV or something like that just because they riding. Nah, that's not the message we trying to send. And I'm going to stand on that. I know there's a lot of people going to hate me for, and they're probably going to go against me on that and say that I, I'm wrong for that, my stance on that. But I stand on that. I stand on that. I stand firm on that. We need to we need to really look at the bigger picture. We need to push policy. We need our we need to we need to make our uh, senators and congressmen accountable. Make them make them push our policy that we need the stuff that and, 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 and to push our agendas. Take some take take some of these um old hundred year Jim Crow laws off the books. They're centered and 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 and, 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 and primed towards our kind. The ones that are giving our people a uh, uh, one to five ratio in prison. For every everyone every one white man is five black men in prison. How did when we we only make up fourteen percent of the population? Now you tell me. Now they gonna have you on having another. Now if you wasn't a felon, you they make you a felon for going and looting them stores and stuff. Everything come with a with a with a cost, man. They gonna try to put everybody. They gonna try to pull back the film and charge everybody can to put some put some capers on you, bro. See, they know they can control you. Every, this is all about money and control, money and power. Money is controlsive. Being in control is power. That's why I say we don't have no power. That's why I say we doing too much. Talking about this okay for the burn it down, burn it down. Okay. Only thing you doing is you re empowering them. Like I done seen some of y'all say some of the same ones that 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 argued the point about the black man business that got burned down, he had insurance. What you think they got? True sure enough, the insurance gonna go up. But they gonna get it all back. All some of us more, more than likely, cause we the way, we the most wasteful spenders in the world. Make up the, the most make, make make up the less of the population, but make up the greatest of the spenders. We spend most of our money on stuff that don't mean nothing. Ain't gonna make it don't mean us no good. Ain't gonna make us no money. Just make us look good. Black man think he rich, he got a hundred thousand. White man about to blow his brains out. Cause he, he, he <laughs> under that kind of pressure. Man I ain't got but a hundred thousand left. Negro been trying to see a hundred thousand whole life stack up. Get a hundred thousand, he hood rich. We need to become greater investors, y'all. We need to become greater investors. And the greatest investment we can ever make is to invest in our future, our kids. We got to start planting these seeds in their head, y'all. It ain't all about money and buying Jordans and clothes and all that. I done said this stuff over and over and over again. The most important thing is not even all about education. It ain't got to be about education, y'all. Because, see, going to school don't even always make you become successful. It's a lot of people that ain't even finished high school that's millionaire now. Got plenty of money. Because... They had a desire. They had a notion to, to, to do something greater with themselves. And they didn't see themselves selling for less. And so something kept pushing them and pushing them. And they kept on going and going. And they continue to go. And they still around because those type of people don't stop. You know, even when they're not at their greatest competitiveness, they still are better than the rest. It's a certain. It's, it's 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 just like the military side. I think it's uh the Marines. I want a, a, a few are chosen. The Bible also say that too, but only a few are chosen. So uh, anyway, uh, I'm not siding with the officers. That none of the any of the officers in these type of cases. You know, you gun down my man. You gun down. You you choked him out or whatever. It's it's no justification for it. You know, you, you abusing your authority. You used too much force. I think it was premeditated. You were just looking for an opportunity as such, and you took advantage of it. All right. Now, all right, let me also flip over to the other side. 
we got to be more smarter than this, y'all. We got to understand that these are all still tricks of the enemy. You see what I'm saying? We got to realize that this is not honoring Mr. Floyd. This is not giving him his due diligence when it come down to it. We actually putting dirt on these people by running up in these places, setting them on fire, stealing big screen TVs, all this. You know what I'm saying? You're doing this in this man's name. And though, yeah, I done heard the argument and seen some of the pictures of the, the Caucasian people that's up in there doing it with you. But guess who going to get the bulk of the blame? Guess who they looking at? Guess who they looking at right now? This 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 a white and white, this a black and white uh, thing, y'all. In, in most instances, that's where it's looked at as a black and white thing. And so, we the black, the ones that's running around that burn stuff. They looking that's black. You know, if he, if it's a white person out there running beside you doing it too, they black to them too. You know, <laughs> that's what y'all looking at color. Y'all too busy looking at color, even black people. It was white people that ran with us to help us get the, the freedoms we got now. Do your history. I mean, y'all have seen something of you. Do you read your books? Now, I've been reading books. Put you on game. Do your history. Yeah. Even with that, even with the Greenville situation, we had in Carolina, we was doing our own thing, had our own independence. Man, listen, they came in and they tried, they burnt that down because they, they knew they, they feared for that. Like those industries were gonna spun out and become greater and larger than anything they ever thought of because everything they ever thought of, we thought of it first. They just took ours and made it theirs. And so they were able to capitalize off it first. But when they saw that we could go and dig it out of the mud and get it, oh no, we gotta stop them. We gotta stop them. They're gonna take over the world again. They're gonna take over the world. Can't outthink us whenever we structured. But the reason why we go so far astray is because we think too far astray. We Our minds wonder. So we got to stop all this foolishness, y'all. We got to find a way to, to, to come to grims with our past. We got to, you know what I'm saying, we need to learn how to bridle our tongues, uh, be more controlled of our actions. The, the more calm, cool, and collected that you are, the more that you... You know, you show them poise, then the greater the greater the outcome. Like I never seen nobody go up in a courtroom and hollering at the judge or throwing at the judge or spitting at the judge or you know throwing up you know middle fingers to the judge. Never seen them come out of there with no type of nothing good. Nah. So I mean, in this instance right here, I don't see this right here actually setting the status any higher like to make us look any better any grander we, we it, it, I, I feel like i said on my post i feel like this makes us look even more unapproachable and i think this gives them even more leverage when they say uh when they use uh being in fear of their lives as a, a element to uh to uh excuse the uh abuse of authority and abuse of 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 uh aggressive violent uh obsessions that they have already have embedded in their heads and they just like a predator seek and devour they they are they are praying and devouring and so uh i just feel i feel like yeah we need we need justice but we need also to remember what form of justice we need we don't need uh, to start a civil revolt, which I think eventually is gonna happen. Anyway, a civil a civil war is gonna take place. I already I already think it's I think it's happening right now. This is a part of it start, but I don't want to be the one to say. I hope that God um, delivers us from it because there'll be a lot of bloodshed, y'all. A lot of, a lot of hate in these people's heart. Yeah. I know we feel we 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 prepared because we got guns now, y'all. But the thing is, they've been had guns. They made guns. So we none of our granddaddy's name, ain't none of our granddaddy's name stamped on the side of them guns. Remember that. I know a lot of them. You know, they ain't saying we ain't got 